Good day to your students and welcome to today's session. We are doing the last part of the lesson is matter around us here. In today's topic, we are going to study what are the different types of your substances. Your substances are of two types. They are elements and compounds. This we have dealt with in the beginning of the lesson. We will just look into the different types of elements that are present. Element is a basic form of matter which cannot be broken down into simpler substance by chemical reaction. Elements are of three types. They are metals, non-metals and metalloids. Let us just brush through the properties of these. Properties of metals are they have luster, they are malleable and ductile, they are good conductors of heat and electricity, they are sonorous. Example, iron, aluminium, zinc, mercury, copper, silver, gold. Properties of non-metals are they do not have luster, they are not malleable or tactile, they are poor conductors of heat and electricity, they are not sonorous. Example, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, iodine, sulfur, carbon, phosphorus, etc. Properties of metalloids are Metalloids are elements which show the properties of both metals and non-metals. Example, boron, silicon, germanium, etc. This is a revision from the topic 1 of the same lesson. Let us now look at the differences between mixtures and compounds. Before that, let us just look into what a compound is. A compound is a substance composed of two or more elements, chemically combined together in a fixed ratio. Example, water, carbon dioxide, sugar, salt, iron sulfide, etc. Let us now look into the differences between mixtures and compounds. Mixture is composed of two or more elements or compounds mixed together. Compound is composed of two or more elements chemically combined together. Mixture, the composition of components is in any ratio. In a compound, the composition of component is in a fixed ratio. Mixture shows the properties of the components. Compound does not show the properties of the components. In mixture, the components can be separated by physical methods. In a compound, it can be separated only by chemical methods. Let us look into what is the difference between a physical and chemical change. This is a revision for you because you have been studying about this from class 6 onwards. Let us just browse through what are the main points. A physical change is a change where there is no change in chemical nature of the substance. There is only interconversion of physical states of matter. Whereas a chemical change brings change in chemical properties leading to formation of new substances. A physical change is a reversible change. A chemical change is an irreversible change. Examples of physical change are melting of wax, ice to water, boiling paper, etc. Examples of chemical change are burning of magnesium ribbon, burning of candle, formation of curd, etc. This is the end of today's session. Thank you.